Hello everybody, welcome back to Microbe Peeps. This week, we're going to be peeping at a type of flatworm called a planarian, and we're going to be doing a little bit of an experiment. I'd planned on rambling on a little bit about how planarian is a common name that encompasses a whole bunch of genus and species, how they can be found in freshwater and saltwater, there are even terrestrial species, and they're found all over the world. But you know what? Let's do some mad science and get down to the real experiment here. You see, I've read a lot that planaria are masters of regeneration. If you cut a planarian in two, you grow two full identical planaria. I've even read that if you cut off one 279th of a planarian, you'll grow yourself another identical planarian. So you know we gotta see this for ourselves, right? For my experiment, I decided to take a planarian that was about 8 to 10 millimeters long and cut it into three parts. I cut the head off and the tail off, which left a middle body part. And I documented every other day or so the sort of changes that I saw. And I was amazed, as I think you will be, at the result. Are you ready to see it? Let's do this. Okay, here we are on day zero, bisection day. Here we see the head... And the head is swimming by this larger part, that's the middle part. And you can see that some of the insides are sort of hanging out, but the parts are moving around like pretty much like normal. Obviously, the middle part doesn't have a head and it doesn't have a tail. And the tail, as we can see here, has no head, really no digestive system, no way to see or take in food. So I wanted to see what would happen as the days went by. Here on day one, the first day after the bisection, you can see that the tail has already started closing itself up. Uh, the insides that were hanging out are gone now. And other than being still, it looks pretty healthy. Uh, the head also is pretty still here on day one. I was a little nervous because I saw how still everything was and I was a little worried that maybe I had killed this planarian. But wait until you see what happens on day three after the bisection. By around day three here, things really started to change. The smaller part here is the tail. And you can see the tail really starting to move quite a bit. This larger part is the middle of the body. It has now kind of rounded out and healed itself on both ends. And there's a little bit of movement th taking place there also. The head has completely become active. It's swimming around and doing its normal planarian thing. I decided I would call this experiment complete when all three parts had a well-defined head, eyes, and tail. And here we are, only five days after the bisection. That was the tail that we were looking at, and this is the middle section. Both have clearly defined heads and very small eyes that have developed. That's the head, and this is the tail again. Let's just watch now as the tail makes its way around the bottom of this water droplet, pursued by the head, and they'll both meet back up with the body. As we move in to day six of this experiment, you're probably getting pretty good at identifying the parts. The head followed by the tail here. We'll move down now past the tail and around the bottom of the drop of water and we'll see the body coming along. At this point, I think I've accomplished the experiment. All three parts have a clearly defined head, tail, and eyes. And aside from the head and the tail being a little short, they're pretty much completely healthy and self-sufficient. Well, I hope that you've been able to make heads or tails out of this experiment, and I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a like. And you might want to subscribe to this channel, because there's more interesting content coming up. Thanks for watching. Mike's Microbe Peeps.